Hey, you see this little mark on this little pedestal? It means Zer's here. And also, I sound more awake than normal, because... I don't even know why. I think I slept late today. I don't know. Pro I'll probably sound really sleepy once I see Zer's inventory, as usual. Hey, Zer, how you doing? What you... Oh. Okay. All right, well, we got the legacy engram here. Uh, it's a legacy engram. If you need a helm, you know, from year one or two... Go ahead, pick that up, but it will not grant you current light level gear by decrypting it, so don't you can't use this to infuse up stuff. We got the Peregrine Greaves Airborne Shoulder Charge deals bonus damage with discipline and strength, and this one's got fusion rifle ammo and machine gun ammo and arc double down. Ah, these are fun. Like these are one of those really situational boots that you can use for PVE because you put them on occasionally when brawlers on or like arc damage is on and you will do stupid damage with your shoulder charge. It's very very fun to use. Plus, the it changes your shoulder charge animation to actually have like swords coming out of it. It's really weird. Really cool pair of boots. Not the best thing for like just general PVE or PVP use, but very fun for a like small specific subset of playing a striker titan. The roll on it, pretty good as well. Uh, yeah, that's not that's not terribly bad either. We have the crest of the Alpha Lupi with solid inter intellect roll, so just go ahead and uh, you know use some of these glass needles to re-roll that. We have supers yeah, supers uh, generate an extra orb and revive fallen teammates and be revived faster. I'm not sure if like how useful this is anymore. It looks it's always looked cool as hell, but it's it's a very specific chess piece. You're not really going to use this in PVE. There's much much better choices for PVE for hunters. For PVP, if you're facing down like a really tough team in three v three, then that res perk can help for sure. Um, hand cannon sidearm yeah you'd, you'd straight up want to re-roll this definitely but this is this is good for 3v3 game modes where reses are an option trials of osiris is coming this weekend as does every weekend so maybe you should pick up the crest of the alpha lupi if you're just now going into there void fang vestments discipline strength again not, not that bad to roll spawn with full grenade energy and then axion bolts gain an additional seeker and we got pulse rifle and fusion rifle ammo arc burn void armor Okay, well, uh, these are still really good in PvP. They're not good at, in PvE at all because, well, if you're dying a bunch in PvE, yeah, an extra grenade probably isn't going to help you. And Axion Bolts gaining an additional Seeker, uh, yeah, that's not going to help you too much either in PvE, PvE. But in PvP, these are still a solid choice. They're not better than Nothing Manacles or Ophidian Aspects for a Void Walker. But if you like doing a, a very grenade-centered build and you're not using a uh, scatter grenade, these can be good. These can be good. Plus, they do look really good. The fourth horseman. This is just a fun. This is a very, very fun weapon. It's been a really long time since I used mine, but it has final round. Uh, it has this perk called Thunder, which can be fired in full auto mode, and it, this thing fires fast. It fires really, really quick. Final round does give you some extra bonus damage. Uh, hand loaded gives you more range, speed reload. I don't know. For the, I'm for this one, it's like just go with field choke and then speed reload. Honestly, the stability, it, you, you want to get the range as much of a bump as possible. Uh, and field choke definitely helps. And then speed reload, you will be reloading a lot. Just straight up, you, you empty the magazine in like under a second, basically. So speed reload, you will need to use it. Plus, it has Return to Cinder, so kills will grant bonus ammo to the magazine. Um, you're not going to kill too many things with one shot in PvP, and you're definitely, you can kill some stuff with one shot in PvE, but the rate of fire of this is basically built to do as much burst damage as possible. So wait for like a, a week with Specialist and Arc Burn on the Nightfall, use this, and it's just hilarious. How <laughs> You can watch health bars just get disintegrated. It's great. Uh, I wouldn't, use, this isn't like a good PvP weapon though. Uh, some people, Destiny Fun Police, uh, he, he's used it to success, but he has a weird play style where basically any weapon can, any shotgun can work into it. It's definitely fun though. Pick it up if you're looking for a fun weapon. Not a toy, the Zalo Supercell ornament, and then the Silver Bullet uh, ornament. I like the Silver Bullet one. Uh, that one looks very, very good. Not a toy one. It's, eh. Not that good. Plasma Drive. Green Emerald Coil Drive. Yay. 
things. We have heavy ammo synthesis because you will need a lot of those in this game. Probably turning them for rep. Three of coins. Yeah, probably keep those. Get them if you still need exotics. And then glass needles to re-roll this horrible crest of alpha lupi. And then motes of light for, oh, motes of light. Zer, you've had better inventory. Still kind of not that great this week, but... Maybe one of these weeks you'll sell Ophidian Aspects, and then it'll be fanfare everywhere. It'll be great. For now, though, you're you're just sitting there in your little corner. Yep, yep. All right. Later, everyone. Have a great weekend.